KTK News at 6. I'm Neil Barton. And I'm Casey Koviak. Heroic neighbors in Tyler stepped up to the plate this morning. They helped officers put a man behind bars accused of burglarizing neighborhood vehicles. But it was without some risk. KTK right now exclusive video with the victims describing events to police. KTK's Nikki Diaz right now live on scene to tell us about this morning's shooting. Neil Casey, the Garza family and Drake Scott have been friends and neighbors for years and they look after each other and this morning their friendship was put to the test. These neighbors formed their own neighborhood watch after several cars in the neighborhood had been broken into. But this morning became intense when the families caught the alleged thieves in the act and took matters into their own hands. They called from my neighbor Jim and I calling me about a Probably about a man outside. He's been uh, walking around my vehicle. As soon as I come out here, I heard my window getting busted out. And he fled the scene, and the Cadillac that uh, was actually in the incident fled the scene as well. He leaving his buddy. He left his buddy, and I chased him up the hill on foot. And I heard some shots being fired, and I thought it was my my neighbor Hector, you know, shooting at the perpetrator. It was actually shots being fired at my neighbor, and. Uh, Shot, like I said, he shot at him five times. The Garzas weren't going to leave Drake Scott out with the thieves by himself. They took off in their car after the second alleged thief in his Cadillac. We're chasing him around the neighborhood until we get to the next street over, and then he turns around and starts facing us. And we're going down the hill, and as we're going downhill, we hear one shot, and at that point, everybody just ducks in the car. And right after that, just four shots repeatedly back to back. Hector Garza was driving their vehicle when he and his son were shot at by the thief. Despite the dangerous events that took place, he's happy with the outcome. For some reason, over the last couple of weeks, we've had a couple instances here, and that's what's basically put us all on our toes, and we've been monitoring the neighborhood a whole lot more. Pretty much had a little neighborhood watch going on and keeping one guy awake at certain hours and another guy awake at certain hours, and it all paid off. It was worth it. Despite being faced with a weapon, the boys say they aren't afraid. Oh, what I need to be fearful of y'all for. You know what I'm saying? Y'all come back over here, just know we ready. Just, in the neighborhood should be ready. We're back now with Hector Garza, who was part of this morning's events. He was driving the car that was shot at. Hector, you guys put together this neighborhood watch program. How does it feel knowing that you guys have one suspect off the streets? It's a big sense of satisfaction. We had spent countless, countless nights you know, just uh, taking turns, staying up two hours at a time, one person, two hours at a time, the next person, until it came to fruition this morning. We finally caught them, we seen them, and we chased them. And you guys probably weren't expecting to be shot at. How are you dealing with that? Uh, it was a little scary. It really was. Um, when we were pursuing the person, we were staying about a half a block behind him, and then all of a sudden he kind of made a U-turn and came after us. So we took off and he started shooting at us. But um, very soon he took a left and we turned around and went to pursue him again. We lost him, but the police officers did find the other suspect and arrest him. So it feels good getting him off the streets. I mean, it was well worth it, very well worth it. Well, we're glad to know that you and your family are safe. Now, the driver of the Cadillac, who was the shooter, is still on the loose. The Cadillac is described as a dark gray, blue, teal Cadillac with rims. So if you do see a vehicle meeting that description, please call Tyler Police Department. Reporting live in Tyler, Nikki Diaz, KTK News. Nikki, live from Denver.